Hi guys, do you know which popular American phone company has been producing phones in India since 2017? We will let you know this at the end of the video. In this video, we are going to understand how India can challenge the dominance of China in electronics. To understand that, we need to understand what are the market dynamics and the growth in India. So most of us would go to the job and when we come back, there is one thing which every one of us would like to do. That is to watch a television, which is an electronics item. We take the remote in our hand, which is also electronics. And just in case, if we are bored and we want to go on a ride, we might go on an electric vehicle, which is again based on electronics. So electronics is going to be very important for the modern lives of the people. Without electronics, it would be very difficult to imagine life. You might have watched this image of Narendra Modi being served tea by a robot. And you might have also watched this video where Boston Dynamics robots are dancing to a really good song. And you might have also heard the news that if India gets into semiconductor manufacturing, that the laptop which costs approximately 100,000 rupees, 1 lakh rupees, would cost approximately 40,000. So this is what electronics can do. The idea of mentioning all these three events is to highlight the importance of electronics in the modern lives of the people. Let us imagine that we walk into a mall where you have laptops from different countries and you might see a laptop from America, from China and one from Taiwan and the last one from India. Do you think what would be the unique selling proposition for all these four laptops? For America, it is going to be a quality product at a cost. For Taiwan, it is going to be a quality product at a reasonable cost. For China, the laptop might be all about cost. But once India enters into the game, it might offer a very good value for money. In this video, we will try to understand how India can challenge the dominance of China in the electronics market. There is a term called ESDM, which means Electronic Systems Design and Manufacturing. The current market size of ESDM is uh, approximately between 140 to 160 billion US dollars, which is expected to grow to 300 billion US dollar in an optimistic scenario in India. So here we can see that we have Electronic System Design Manufacturing divided into two parts one of which is manufacturing and another is the design part so the design itself is going to be a very big and important part of it which is approximately going to reach 60 billion us dollar by the year 2025 as per the report from frost and sullivan in the year 2019 the contribution of electronics was 3.3 percent to the GDP of India, which is expected to grow to 6.0% of the GDP of India, that is to the amount of 300 billion US dollar by the year 2025. India as a country can generate up to 1 trillion of business from the digital economy. The electronics would be approximately 30% of it by the year 2025 that would be approximately 300 billion US dollars. And one interesting fact is India has established itself as a quality design workhouse for, for the world. It is not just a low cost center, but a quality design hub for the world. Many global companies have opened their design offices in India, but the IP rights rest with the global companies and it does not help in the growth of the Indian economy, apart from generating jobs. Now, if we dig deeper into the different segments within the market, we would be able to know our strength vis-a-vis -vis China. So there are total eight components in which we are doing well in the electronics segment. And the number one on that list is mobile. Yes, as per the Frost and Sullivan report, the market for mobile phones manufacturing in India was approximately 30 billion US dollars in the year 2019, which is expected to grow to double the size 60 billion us dollars by the year 2025 apart from the mobile phones there are two other items which are 
worth mentioning. One is LED lighting and another is the notebooks manufacturing. Both of these would become more than 4 billion by the year 2025. These eight items are going to contribute to more than 68% of the electronics production market in India. So all of us would have opened an electronic item at least once and we would see that there is a green board inside it. This board is called PCB which is a printed circuit board. It is an important part of the electronics and the market for it in the year 2019 as per the report in the Frost and Sullivan was 2 billion US dollars. So there are some important players which are manufacturing these PCBs in India. The names of these players are Genus Electrotech, Mina Circuits and Shogini. Just to mention a few, this market is expected to grow at a CAGR of 17% till the year 2025. Now in order to draw the comparison between India and China and other countries which might compete with India for the electronics market, Frost and Sullivan did a comparison of the different ecosystem in the countries. So the countries are India, China, Vietnam, Indonesia and Thailand. If we look at the comparative index, we see that India has one major factor which it needs to improve, which is the infrastructure. China is way ahead of us in infrastructure and in order to counter China, what should India do? This is what we are going to discuss. India has the potential to live up to your tagline of make in India for the world. India has the potential to become the top five ESD manufacturers in the world and the top three electronics consumption market in the world. So if you recall in the beginning we discussed about ESDM and there is a design part of it. The design part of it is also very important and it is going to grow to 60 billion US dollar by the year 2025. As per the report by Frost and Sullivan, India has established itself as the design hub for the world, which is a very positive news. There are a lot of companies who have the design houses in India and they are using Indian engineers for making the designs for their electronic products. One of the drawbacks that India has that the semiconductor manufacturing is almost non-existent in India. So let us look at the pros and cons of India. So when compared with China, India has certain pros. The pros is growing population and the growing demand of electronic items. So there are challenges that the working capital which is available within the Indian financial system is costly which makes the end product itself costlier than the competitors. So India needs to devise a financial system which can support the electronics manufacturing. So to tackle China, there is a concept called fabulous company. Fabulous company are the companies which only design the product and they manufacture it through outsourcing. Since India has already proven expertise in the design, it can help India to challenge the dominance of China in the electronics market. So India could create an ecosystem where it could create countless fabulous companies which would help in the electronics manufacturing and in the ESDM market. And also this is going to be very beneficial for the India and for the job seekers it is expected to generate approximately 1 crore jobs in the electronics market by the year 2025 as per the report. The electronics sector currently employs approximately 20 lakh people and which is going to grow fivefold and to reach 1 crore by the year 2025. Now we come to the question which we asked in the beginning of the video which phone company started manufacturing in India in the year 2017. This is a popular American phone company, Apple. I hope you found this video of value. It would motivate us if you could like, share and comment. Thank you.